Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best microphone for filmmaking this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these best microphone for filmmaking, you can check out the description below. If you wanna get a best quality best microphone for filmmaking according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Rode VideoMic Pro. The Rode VideoMic Pro is a condenser shotgun microphone that picks up and records broadcast quality audio. You can use this mic with DSLR cameras, camcorders, and even audio recorders. It is a compact mic, only about 6 inches in length and weighing only about 85 grams. This makes it easy to transport and also to place in such a way that it's near enough to capture all the sound and dialogue that you want while still staying off the screen and hidden. The Rode VideoMic Pro has a shock mounting system and a lightweight premium cable that significantly reduces the amount of noise transference that is picked up in the audio. The mic uses a super cardioid pickup pattern which allows it to capture audio in the front while minimizing noise pickup on the side and rear. This makes it perfect for all kinds of projects. This mic is powered by a 9-volt battery and can give you up to 70 hours of recording time. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Audio-Technica ATR3350. This is a budget-friendly omnidirectional lavalier microphone that allows you to clearly capture voices and dialogue. It is very small and lightweight at only 6 grams, so it's quite easy to place on your subject in a way that will not interfere with their movements and discreetly record everything that they say with a minimal amount of background noise. It's certainly a handy little mic and a great recommendation for those looking for a budget-friendly option when it comes to the best microphone for filming. The number 3 position is held by Sennheiser MKE 400. This shotgun microphone features a rugged, all-metal housing. The Sennheiser MKE 400 uses an integral shock mount to minimize noise interference. It will fit almost all cameras, as long as the camera has an external microphone input and a standard hot shoe mount. The Sennheiser MKE 400 has a switchable wind noise filter and switchable sensitivity for handling audio recorded over long and short distances. This mic uses an AAA battery for power and offers 300 hours of operating time. Next at number 4 we have Tascam TM2X. The Tascam TM2X is a cardioid microphone that can be mounted on and plugged directly into your camera. It captures high-quality audio for high-definition video and stores it straight to your camera. It comes with a noise isolation arm that helps reduce the background noise produced by your camera, such as the operation of the lens. There's also a floating support structure underneath the mic which helps ensure that unwanted noises and sounds are prevented from being captured on the audio track. The Tascam TM2 X draws power directly from your video camera so you don't have to worry about any additional batteries when using this mic. The number 5 position is held by Asden SMX10. The Asden SMX10 is a stereo condenser microphone that allows you to directly record high-quality audio. The mic is about 7 inches long and weighs only about 1.83 ounces without its battery. It has a foam windscreen and shock mount microphone holder to help it pick up audio clearly with the minimum amount of background noise. The Asden SMX10 is powered by a single AA battery. It offers you about 400 hours of continuous operating time. This is another tried and tested mic that makes a great impact at a very reasonable price point. The number 6 position is dominated by Audio-Technica Tate 175R line. This microphone from Audio-Technica is a gradient shotgun condenser mic. It was designed specifically for use in video production and also in broadcast audio acquisition. The Audio-Technica Tate 175R is small at just under 7 inches in length so it's easy to maneuver and keep out of your shots. You can also easily mount it on your camcorder without adding too much extra weight, which if it gets too heavy could affect your camera stability and your ability to take smooth shots. This mic has a narrow acceptance angle which means it's good for long distance sound pickup and is good at rejecting sounds that come from the side and rear of the mic. So it picks up your subject's voice and not the noise of what's happening around them, making it very suitable for interviews and setups like that. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Sennheiser MKE 600. This is another shotgun mic produced by Sennheiser. 
It's basically a single tube that you can mount onto a camera or, or use with a mic stand or boom pole. The Sennheiser MKE 600 is a super cardioid microphone that works well with both video DSLRs and camcorders. It has a shock mount and a foam windshield to help cut out background noise from the recording. Like other super cardioid mics, it picks up sound coming in the direction that your camera is pointing and effectively dampens any noise coming from the sides or the rear. There are two ways to power the MKE. Either through phantom power if your video camera is equipped for that, or by battery power. This mic is selected by many experts as a top choice for all kinds of filming situations, making it one of the gems on this list of the best microphones for filming. The number 8 position is held by Blue Yeti USB mic. It's hard to argue that there's a better dynamic mic out there than the Blue Yeti. Quite simply, there isn't. It's proven hugely popular for podcasts and voice work thanks to its great build quality, exceptional sound, and very low price point. The fact it's so easy to use is nice too. All you have to do is plug it into a USB port and away you go. Next, condenser microphones. In short, condenser microphones are similar to dynamic microphones, but they're a lot more expensive. There are a few reasons for this. Here are a few things to consider when looking at condenser microphones. High quality studio mics. Best suited for voiceover work. Similar to dynamic mics, except more expensive. The audio quality is much clearer and better for single-source audio recordings. Furthermore, they offer more options when it comes to pickup patterns. You can opt to keep the indirect shape on some models, but a lot of them also offer you omnidirectional, a full 360 degrees where no sound is cancelled and bidirectional recording for interviews and conversations. They're more expensive than dynamic mics, but they do give you much more versatility. Here are two of the best condenser microphones for filmmaking. Next at number 9, we have Rode NT2A. The Rode NT2 is a large diaphragm condenser microphone that features three pickup patterns, cardioid, omnidirectional, and figure eight. This makes this highly versatile and great for detailed audio work. Made in Australia, the product looks and feels really well made, very solid and durable with a nice silver satin finish. Thumbs up from us! Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by AKG C414 Roman 42. AKG C414 is one of the most popular and widely used microphones in the filmmaking world today. You're likely to see one in every major studio in the music industry where it has become a professional standard. If it's good enough for vocals and instruments, it's also certainly good enough for filming too. We found it particularly useful for voiceovers and voice work in an indoor setting. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.